Hi everybody, it's Mary Lynn again. I'm here with a video actually about hair today. Um, basically I'm just going to go over what I do when I curl my hair or straighten my hair. My hair right now, this is it pretty much natural. I have a little bit of product in it. I just let it dry naturally and this is what it looks like. And it's not too bad. You know, it's easy. I mean, if I'm in a rush, I can easily just go and I'm not too concerned about it. But usually during the week when I work, um, I get up earlier in the morning, so I always shower in the evening. And sometimes when I sleep on my hair, it kind of, I wake up and it's frizzy and it kind of, it just looks like a really big mess. <laughs> so a lot of the times in the evening, if I know I'm going to be curling my hair, um, I try and actually go over it with a curling iron. Um, so anyways, basically I'm just going to show you the products that I use for when I want to curl or straighten my hair. Um, it's going to be hopefully a pretty quick video because it's pretty simple what I do. Um, if I'm going to curl my hair, really all I do is when I get out of the shower, I use my Moroccan Argan Oil. And I put some of that just like a little, probably dime, well, dime to quarter size in my palm because I, I have really thick hair. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. But, um, and I run it all through my hair. And then I use a little bit of this Mark Curl Goddess Serum. And I just run a little bit of that through my hair and then I let it dry. And then what I take is this here, which is the Infinity um, by Conair. It's like the, um, the clipless wands. I'm not sure what the actual name for it is. Anyways, what I do is I just basically take a few different pieces on the tops of my hair and I hold it like this and I just wrap it around and I hold it for like five seconds and it makes really nice curls in my hair. Um, I don't do like the bottoms or anything like it's just really quick just to kind of put some definition in some of the top of curls where I tend to get more frizz and it looks fantastic. Um, love doing that. It holds curls in my hair way better than a regular curl and iron. Um, so I'm really glad that I invested in that. Um, and then when I straighten my hair, it's also pretty, oh, and if I curl my hair too, sometimes um, I'll either spray in a little bit of this Frizzy's Dream Curls by John Frieda, which I'm actually almost out of. Or the Pantene Curly um, Leave-In Conditioner. It's kind of like, I don't always do this. It's kind of just an option that sometimes if I think of it or whatever, I throw a little bit of um, that in and it kind of helps. A little, it really, I mean, it helps, but it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, I can easily get by without it is what I'm saying. Um, and then whenever I want to um, straighten my hair, I still, I use the Moroccan oil. And I use the um, shampoo and conditioner of this when I know I'm going to be straightening my hair. And then, um, oh, I also forgot. I use this too. This is my heat protector. I use the Tresemme one. Um, I use that for curling or straightening, either one. And then this here, I actually, I bought this. I got my hair straightener, I'll show you a second, from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's um, the Chi Air one. And I bought this at the same time. And it's the Maxi Essentials Beyond Straight Therapy Straightener. And this is the Maxi Essentials The End style silicone shine enhancer and basically what I do is I put a little bit of this and a little bit of this in my palm together and I rub it together and I put it through my hair and I leave that sit for a few minutes and then I take my um, Frizzy's three day straight um, spray from John Frieda and I spray that all through my hair and then I leave it sit for a few minutes and then I blow dry my hair and I just have a regular Conair blow dryer I think. It's nothing fancy. I actually probably could, could be using a new one soon. And then I take my straightener which is this one here. It's one inch I do believe. I've had it for quite a while now and I love it. It works fantastic on my hair. It actually, it used to take me so long to straighten my hair. It was ridiculous. I hardly ever did it. Um, and then I bought this and it works magic. And I use it all the time now. It's my only straightener that I own. Actually, I threw out my other ones because they were just garbage compared to this one. And um, it actually takes me longer now to blow dry my hair than it does to straighten it. <laughs> so, like, that's how crazy it is. Like, my hair is so... When it gets wet, it holds, like... Free let my hair um, air dry. It's, like, 2.30, I think, or something in the afternoon now. And I showered at, like, 10 this morning. And it's still, like, a little bit damp, like, in the back. Like, it takes forever to air dry. It, like, is so thick, it just holds water forever. So basically it takes me like 10 to 15 minutes to blow dry my hair, which is terrible because it's such a pain and my arm gets so tired. I usually, to be honest, as bad as it sounds, take a break in between it. <laughs> anyways, that's totally unrelated and I'm rambling as 
as um, I've mentioned in this, I'm filming like multiple videos today, so I don't know what I'm talking about in each video, and everything's just kind of blurring together right now. But um, I got a new, we got a new puppy actually yesterday, and so we're in the process of training him, and he does not like being alone at night. He whines and cries and barks all night long. It's so sad, but at the same time, you're so tired, and you just want him to be quiet so he can get some sleep. So basically, I'm running on like two hours of sleep. Um, and everything's kind of just jumbling together in my head. But anyways, as why I have a lot of weird, pointless rants in my videos. But, back to this. So this takes me to straighten all my hair. It takes me like 10 minutes to straighten it. It is like super, super straight. It looks fantastic. And it will like, whenever I straighten my hair, I try to let my hair go at least like a day or two in between washes because... I don't really have a reason. I just feel if I'm going to straighten my hair and put all that effort into it, I just want it to last for a little while. Like, you know what I mean? And all I have to do in the morning is just kind of run over the ends a little bit because before I sleep, like, by my face, the way I sleep, I guess it kind of, like, it'll start to curl and, like, do weird things and run. So I run over the front and that's it in the morning. So it's definitely a lot easier than that. Whereas when I curl my hair, I have to kind of put a few curls in the evening and with the, um, with my this here, whatever it is, <laughs> um, and I usually have to kind of go over a couple in the morning too, so it takes a little more time, but it's still a lot easier than when I used to use an actual curl and iron, my hair would just, it wouldn't hold curls, and it'd be half straight, like, by the time I'd get to work, like, a half hour later, so it was kind of a pain in the butt, so I'm really glad that I found that, and I got that, and oh, just, this really has no effect, but this is the wide tooth um, comb I use, it's got, like, a little hook you can, like, hook it in your shower, um, and it works really great. Try not to, I have a big brush too, which I try not to use as much because I know it's bad for hair and it breaks it and stuff. So I try and use this all the time if I can think of it. But sometimes I like forget it in the shower and then I'm too lazy to go back and get it as bad as that sounds. Um, but anyways, yes, this is great. I love it. And it was like $2 or something at Walmart. So, and it's goody. So it works. Um, so yeah, that was a really simple, quick video. As I said, I don't really do much to my hair as in, like, treatments and stuff. I, I used to have a Lush one, and I can't think of the name right now, because their names are, like, crazy for their hair treatments. And it was good, but I just find, I don't find they really do a whole lot for my hair. Or maybe I just haven't found a good one yet, that could easily be it. So, if you know of any good hair treatments for hair, to kind of, you know, tame it. Because I don't... It's kind of, it's colored now, you can't see, but there's kind of blonde pieces through it because I did have purple in my hair, but the purple kind of faded out, so now it's like brown and blonde. Which, with the way the light's shining in through those blinds, it's probably going to look weird. And it's, you're not going to have any idea what I'm talking about. But, it's color treated right now in certain parts, but it's otherwise it's like my natural color. And, yeah, I try and be good to my hair. I wasn't for a while. It's only probably last year that I started really paying more attention to what I put in my hair and... You know, making sure I use good products and all that stuff, which is really important because it made a huge difference in my hair. Huge, huge, huge difference. It used to be so, like, it'd be really, I'd get really bad um, split ends and it would just feel really, like, coarse and just, it wasn't nice. But now I have nice, good hair and my husband loves it because he sits there and he could twirl my hair for, like, hours and be content. <laughs> he wouldn't like them saying that, but he was on about how soft and great it is. So, that's got to mean something, I guess. Anyways, enough of my pointless rambling. Um, oh, right. I wanted to, I'm going to go grab my puppy. I will be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try and edit that out if I, hopefully I remember that I need to edit it apart. But anyways, this is my puppy. Isn't he handsome? Yes, he is. He's a seven-week-old golden retriever, and he is just absolutely adorable. He's so good during the day, it's, and he's so bad at night, but he's whining, and I know he misses his mother and his brothers and sisters, so, like, I understand it. As annoying as it is at the time when you're trying to sleep during the day, he's just so cute, and he's so good, and his name's Rocco. Yes, Rocco, say hi. Hi. He was half asleep in the living room, so I disturbed him. Anyways, enough of my ramblings. Um, I will see you guys in a later video. Bye!